Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. Me, Game Move Six of Kim Coliseum. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can get it on Patreon for like three to five dollars. I didn't actually look this time again. And yeah, on the last Let's Play, we saved Arsh by defeating the monster that attacked Winterlight Village, but it actually wasn't. It was an illusion cast by a fairy. So we got Arsh out of there, and everybody came back to the church. At which point, we woke up from a nightmare, and I'm telling Darius about the uh, our past, which includes talking about gay sex with, uh, what's his name? Numaku? Nina. I guess today is another peaceful day. If we can, if we can just stand here and talk about my love life. Didn't I click here? Yep, same old winter light. <sighs> I wish something exciting would happen for once. Never say that. Come on, don't be like that. It's a good thing nothing happens. Precisely. Captain Bulls. Bullis. Uh, you should talk to him. Oh no, I hope we're not in trouble. Beep. Are you bored? Being a Shrine Guardian Volga? Or Shrine Guardian Volga, to the way inflection did. No, sir, not at all. But I'm sure it's not the most exciting job in the world, is it? I understand. After all, only strong warriors can become Shrine Guardians. And strong warriors like you are full of energy. Energy that you want to let out. You want something exciting, perhaps an adventure. You should really ask that dude out. Like, seriously, the entire village is waiting for you to actually do that. That's some excitement. However, everyone needs a place to return to. It's our duty to make sure that people in Nuada will always have one. Yes, sir. We may not have been attacked yet, but we don't know what's going to happen. So, whether today, it's today, or ten years from now, you have to always be ready to protect this place. Do not let your guard down. Understood? Yes, sir. Very well. Keep up the good work. Ugh, that was so embarrassing. I'm tied under a rock now. Yeah, I dig a hole in the ground here and live there forever if I were you. In fact, I already decided where your hole should be when you were talking to the captain. Shut up, or I'll bury you instead. Hey, look on the bright side. We got to talk to Captain Bolas. I guess, if you can even call that talk. I can't believe some someone like him is stuck here. He could have gone places, you know? Well, wouldn't want the strongest warrior in New End to guard a shrine, though. Wouldn't you want the new strongest warrior? Yeah, but I also want to see him join the tournament in Cornelia. Man, can you imagine how popular Nuana would be if he won? I'm sure he could. What's the tournament again? Haven't you heard? It's a huge tournament in Cornelia. Fighters from all over the world would gather there. Apparently if you win, you can ask whatever you want from the king. Really? Anything at all? That, That's way people are saying... But what's really interesting is the punishment. I've heard that anyone, that anyone who loses in the match, they'll be Volga, Numaku. Hello, kids. What? Anyway, what were you saying, Numaku? Maybe I should talk about that later. Uh, okay. I think kids are here. It's not like we had time to play with them. The kids' parents aren't here. They probably sneaked out to play again. What are you both up to? Same thing as always. Keeping you and everyone here safe. They've heard you talking about Cornelia. Oh, that? Naku's telling me about the tournament there. Y yeah, a tournament full of strong fighters. Why do you say you sound weird all of a sudden? 
Is there something with the tournament? Well, it just the tournament isn't exactly for kids. I see. The fight must be brutal. Um Tournament? Are you going there, Volga? Yeah, we wish. Actually, we are going to the tournament there one day. Huh? Is it is it like the combat competition the Shrine Guardians do here sometimes? <laughs> yes, but even bigger. People all around the world will be there. This time, Volga and I will decide which one of us is stronger. What? That's awesome. Two best friends promise to fight each other. That's so cool. Larry Yusha. We should do that too. M me? But I don't like fighting. Yumaku, you can't just say random stuff like that. Well, what if I'm serious and want it to happen? You mean it? Us going to Cornelia and join the tournament? Come on, Volga. You just said that you were bored. If you wanted something exciting to happen, then you have to start thinking about them. How can you do anything new with your minds if your mind's still stuck on the same old things? I guess you have a point there. And don't tell me that let's join the tournament together it doesn't sound fun. It certainly does sound fun. But you can't even beat me in a sing in the combat competition. You think you have a chance at the tournament? Hey, it's Cornelian tournament. Losing might not be a bad idea. Wait, what? <laughs> you both look like you have nothing to do. Come on, play with us. Oh, I'm sorry, Tr Trusha. I know, it looks like we're just standing here chatting, but we're actually working right now. In fact, it's one of the most important jobs, set by the captain himself. So, here's the rules. We shall be Shrine Guardians, and you two will be the monsters. You completely ignore me, huh? So, what kind of monster? Wait, you're really doing this? What are you doing? Hey, something new, right? I'm not sure if this counts. We will protect the shrine from monsters, so you have to run away from us. What happens if we touch the monster? Do we take turns or... Doesn't matter. We'll catch the monster and we'll eliminate them. It was not really clear. I guess it's really happening. Just keep an eye out for the captain, or else we'll be hunted for real. Here we come. Go away, monsters. G go away. And that's why when Light Village fell. Because you're fooling around. I I'm tired. What? We only caught one of them. I, I can't run anymore, though. Well, I'm kind of thirsty anyway. See you later, guys. Wait, Chusha. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be this tiring. Choose your shirts fast, right, Numaku? I got captured. <laughs> what were you... What were you saying? Um, maybe you should get some water. <sighs> yeah. Let's take a break. I hope he's okay. Another hard day at work, I see. Decided to run around the village today? Uh, Ralph! My left to right thing. Not like he wasn't here yet. Maybe he's still taking a break somewhere. Shouldn't you still be at your bakery? I asked Leaf to take care of the store for me. I thought I would stop by and see how you like the sandwich. Well, I ate it all. I guess there's your answer. Heh. <laughs> if you happen to have them in stock again, I'll let you know if I happen to have them in stock again. You really need to let me pay you next time, though. Can't let you keep giving me free sandwiches like this. Ah, okay, okay. I understand. But you know, for a friend and a shrine guardian that protects us every day, it's the yeast I can do. Ugh, Ralph. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. 
On a more serious note, you skipped breakfast today, didn't you? But he had sandwich. First thing he did was eat sandwich. Well, I did sleep through the whole morning. That won't do. I, you know breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? When was the last time you had a proper meal for breakfast? Well, let's see. Um, I want to say a week ago. Maybe two. See, this is what I mean. Anyway, I knew this would happen. So I came up with an offer you might like. Which is? What do you think about joining me for breakfast at my place sometimes? Breakfast at your place? I wake up early for my bakery every day, but I never miss a good breakfast. I can prepare breakfast for you too. We can have a little chat over a nice meal together. How's that sound? So, is it like, um, a date? It, it doesn't have to be one if you don't want it to be. You don't have to answer me right now. It's not like we have to do it tomorrow. You, you know, just something for you to consider. Just let me know whenever you feel like it. Look, Volga, stop thinking too much about it. You need to feel it. How do you feel about him? Does he make you feel... How does he make you feel when he's with you? That's really important. How do you feel about him? Huh? Well, I better get back to my store. Leaf will yell at me for leaving him alone too long otherwise. I'll see you later then. Take care, Volga. Ralph. Yes, Volga? Can we talk? Yes, of course. I guess this place should be okay. Hey, I think I can see my bakery up here. Come on, Volga. Let's get a close look together. Don't get too close. It's not that safe, you know? It'll, it'll be fine. Besides, it's not like you're going to let me fall, right? Fine, fine. I love the view from up here. Winter lights is beautiful, don't you think? I guess so. I've seen it too many times already. Aw, oh, don't be like that. I'm sure you're gonna miss it when you're on your adventure. If it ever gets to go on one. You know, I might not have been here too as long as you do, but I love winter light already. You do? Yeah, it's peaceful and the people are nice, even after they learn that I'm different from many of them. Most important of all, it's where I met you. So when you say different, you mean different because you're, you know, not from here or different because you like dudes? I mean, granted, everybody likes dudes, so like... Anyways. Are you really okay with me? What do you mean? I mean, I'm not used to... to this. Am I making you uncomfortable? No, not at all. I'm I never uncomfortable around you. Oh. What I meant to say is, because I'm not used to this, so I'm... I'm afraid. I'm afraid that I might make mistakes. That I might not be able to do what you expect me to do. Or what if I end up hurting you. I'm afraid I might ruin what we have. But keep going like this isn't fair to you either, is it? You know, that's what I like about you, Volga. Um, not really? Wait, what, what, what do you say? That's what I like about you, Vol Yeah. Oh, what I like about you, Volga? A question mark. It's how kind you are. Now, you're just messing with me. I'm serious. I saw the way you teach Leaf during his combat training. You saw? Say, of course. Can't miss it, can I? My son might uh, get to be the next generation of Winterlight Trine Guardians. The way you try to match his pace, or going over it, uh, going over any move he doesn't understand. You're really patient with him. I, it's good way for me to train my basic, that's all. 
Leaf is the most precious thing in my life. So after seeing how you treat him and how he gets along with you so well with you, I know that you can take care of him. I know that you're the one I can trust. Ralph, I understand that you're new to this, but I'm willing to go at your pace. There's no need to rush it. We don't have to do anything you don't want to do. And if it doesn't work out, I'm sure we'll stay friends and support each other. Damn. Me being kind of like Volga where it's like, I'm embarrassed to do relationship stuff. Or shy. Also, some of these houses have an unusually large uh, ceiling thing. Thank you, Ralph. No, thanks for talking to me, Volga. I hope this makes you feel better. Anyway, maybe we should go back. Yumaku's probably waiting for you too, right? Wait. Yes? How about... How about tomorrow? What about tomorrow? The breakfast. Let's make it tomorrow, if you're okay with it. Wait a second. Did you... Did you just say yes? Did you really... Just say that? I'm not hearing things, am I? Calm down, will you? Don't make me regret saying yes. Of course. I'm what I'm taking it easy. The easiest. I was thinking of making eggs and toast tomorrow. How do you like your eggs? Scrambled, sunny side up, over easy, over medium? Uh, sunny side up? Good choice. And what about your toast? Do you like it done? Wait, how do you like it done? I don't even know what's the difference. There's a different. Well, do you like it brown? A little hot? Maybe a little burnt? Maybe I should make one of each and let you choose. Ralph? Yes? I'm sure I'll like whatever you make. This is just too adorable. Well, I should go home then. I need to spend time getting ready for tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. I'll, it'll be the best breakfast ever, I promise. See you tomorrow, Volga. It makes me sad to know what's going to happen. Well, that we all know what's going to happen. Look so happy. Hey, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Umaku, where did you... I can't believe it. He finally said yes. You too? Man, to think that this day would finally come. It took forever, don't you think? Leaf, weren't you supposed to take care of your store? Come on. There's no way I'm not going to spy on him when I know he's coming to see you. So, I asked Sasha to take care of the store for me. Sasha is six years old. Ah, the perfect age when you can do simple addition and subtraction. Exactly. Stop encouraging him. Anyway, I'll make sure to leave the house very early tomorrow. We can even skip our air combat training. The place is all yours. Leave. it's just breakfast. It's a date. A breakfast date? Anything can happen. You two really enjoy this, huh? Anyway, I better run before my dad knows. I'll leave the store to Sasha. N no, knows I left the store to Sasha. See you later, Volga. And there he goes. Speaking of breakfast, you have a night shift today too. Will you be okay tomorrow? Oh, that that'll be fine. I just need to wake up a little early tomorrow. Hmm. You know what? Why don't you let me take over your shift tonight? Are you sure? You don't have to do that. What? So you'll be half dead from sleep deprivation for your date tomorrow? I want this to work for you too. Let so let's so let your breakfast friend help you, Volga. Your brec your best friend, not breakfast friend. Nomaku. Thanks, buddy. Just make sure to fill me in all the non details later. Yeah? Nomaku. Just kidding. I can go for some toast. To think they'll get to sleep early at night. I really owe you own the Maku drink. Ralph looks so happy today when I said yes. 
I guess he really wanted to spend time with me. And Leif said he would give us some time alone. So maybe we might... Damn it. It's those two folk for giving me all those naughty ideas. How can I fall asleep like this? I need to think about something else. Baseball. Cold showers. I can understand why cold shower would make you not be in the mood, but what makes baseball so dehorning? Huh? What was that? Was that a scream? There it is again. Something isn't right. I better go check if everything's okay. Volga. Volga, wake up. That voice. Leaf. Th they're here, Volga. And there's fire. And the village. Oh, spirits. Village. Slow down, Leaf. I can't understand anything you're saying. I'm fine. There. Son. Just let me talk to Volga, alright? Okay. There are monsters attacking the village right now. Some parts of the village are burning too. That's not possible. The shrine should drive them away. I'm as confused as you are. What on earth? Whatever it is, you need to go to the shelter. You remember how to get up to the shelter, right? Yes, we do. Okay. Then you and Leaf go to the shelter. Take as many people as you can with you. What about to you? I'm going to join up with the troops at the shrine. I need to see what's wrong. Don't worry, I protect Leaf and you. That's what our shrine guardians are for. Yeah, got it. Let's go, son. We need to tell your friends, their neighbor, and our neighbors too. Yeah. Hmm, Ralph. I guess we'll have to reschedule our breakfast, right? Yeah. Volga. Aw. Don't make me sad. This might not be the best time for this, but... Please, let me hug you. Even just for a little bit. Sh sure. Everything will be okay, right? His body. He's trembling. Ralph. You acted like you're in K in front of Leaf. But you're scared too, aren't you? Don't worry. I'm here, aren't I? You're right. Dad. Damn it. If I just lift my hands and... I should go. Right. Just be safe, okay? I'll, um, I'll be careful. Now hurry, and take leave to the shelter. Okay. Let me just get my tissue. I can still smell his scent. I think I don't need to blow my nose. Let me just make sure my face is okay. I need to find out what's happening. I need to protect them. Another monster? How are you able to defeat that in one hit? This must have been the fifth monster already. Did the shrine really stop working? And what's with this eerie feeling? Has the village felt this suffocating? Everyone, please be safe. And there's zombies. Oh. Way. Okay, is that you? Tim, he's still alive. Captain Bowles, everyone. Go to the emergency shelter with the others. Take the villagers as far away from Winterlight as possible. Don't waste your time. Sorry. 
uh, trying to fight all the monsters. There's too many of them. What about you, Captain? Well, hold off this... Hold this monster back. So you can take the others and can escape. This monster? Hulga looks at the dark shadow behind Bolas and his troops. What? Hell is that thing? The monster opens its mouth and growls. A flaming orogematic particles start to appear around its mouth, forming an orb like a small sun. As the orb grows bigger and brighter, troops can feel the vibration in the air. Suddenly, the orb exploded. Damn it. That power. It could have taken the whole troop out. Did choose not to? Captain Bullis is right. There's no way we can defeat this thing. But but I'm a soldier of Winterlight Village. Isn't it my duty to fight and die for his, this place? P permission for me to join the fight, Captain. Please, let me fight alongside you. No, Volga. I already ordered you to help the villagers. Do not make me repeat myself. But, sir... Hey, Volga, over here. Numaku, are you alright? Here, take this. Your soldier's tag? Numaku, why are you... Keep that for me, will you? But don't you dare lo don't you dare losing it, though. Let's survive this and take a vacation to Cornelia. You can turn it to me and in the tournament. Polga shivers when he hears the uh, haunting laugh, then looks at the monster. He sees it looking back at him. There's no doubt about it now. This monster is laughing at us. Volga, don't just stand there. Move. Now. Yes, sir. Goodbye, buddy. Well, it's, I'm starting to fire up, Captain. That's the spirit. Now, everyone, attack. Numaku. Damn it. Can oh, sorry. I thought that was the end of the thing. I couldn't save him either. These monsters are unusually strong. It's like something's changed. Uh, change them. What's happening? Why is this happening? The monster with the glowing pattern. It's just. It must be the leader. It must be the one who started all this. Calm down. It's not. This is not the time to be losing my temper. I need to get everyone to the shelter and get everyone out of here. Volga, that, this voice. Volga, you're alive. Trusha, what are you doing here? Leaf, you too? Wait. Why aren't you all in the shelter? It isn't safe out here. Neither is the shelter. The monsters broke in, so we had to escape. What? Wait, what about Ralph? Why isn't he here with you? 
Many of the adults helped the soldiers try and defend off the monster. That helped too. And that big dump meat got himself hurt. He couldn't move out of, the, out of there without any help. He told me to take the other kids and go see you at the shrine, saying that we w should be safe with you and Captain Bullis there. What? No. This can't be. What about you? How's the shrine? No. Can't go back to shrine because of that monster. And there's no way that I alone can protect these kids while saving everyone at the shelter. That means I have to... Come on, Volga. Let's hurry and go call the troops. People at the shelter need help. They need it now. Everyone, I need you to listen to me carefully. We will not go to the shrine. We will leave Winterlight this instant and go to the nearest village. Are you out of your mind? No, Leaf. We... People are dying, Volga. They need help now. Leaf, please listen to me. If you're not going to go, then I will. I'll call the troops to help us. Shelter's no more, Leaf. What? Or the shrine? Sorry. We don't know why, but the shrine isn't working anymore. It seems to attract monsters we've never seen before. It's too dangerous. We can't go back there anymore. You're kidding, right? Captain Bolus we're talk it's cap this is Captain Bowles we're talking about here. The strongest guy in Nuana. No way. Then we should hurry back to, to the shelter together. I can fight. We might be able to save everyone. Or someone. The shelter is full of monsters. And more are going to keep on coming. I can't possibly protect all of you if we're still there. Still here. My last order from the captain was to protect you all. And I'll do it. Please, Volga. There must be another way. Monsters! We need to leave now. This way, everyone. <laughs> Leaf, come on. Let me just get one sec. I guided them out of the village to the forest nearby, killing and killing many monsters in our way. I did what I thought was best for them. Come on, everyone, just a little bit more. Volga. Wait. What is it? We should be safe now, right? We can... We can leave everyone here and go back. I can help you fight. We can go back. You and me. It's not too late. Leaf, there's no... Nothing... There's nothing guarantee... That we'll be safe until we reach another village. I can't put any of you at risk. Come on. We should hurry before we run into more monsters. Are you really going to let everyone die? The parents of those kids are waiting for our help. My dad is waiting for your our help. There's no way we're going to let him die, right? We need to go. Can't believe this. Are you saying this for real? Fine, I don't need you. I'm going back there myself. Hey, what are you doing? Stop, you're get going to get yourself killed. That's what. What the fuck do you care? You don't ca even care if my dad's going to die? Move, Volga. 
You know, I can't let you do that. I said move. He swings his fist at Volga. Get the fuck out of my way. Leaf. What the hell are you doing stopping me? You're not even going to do anything. Leaf, please. You're disgusting. You make me sick. Mass punch lands straight in Volga's face. He limps his mouth with his fingers and tastes blood. I... Listen to me, Leaf. I hate you. I hate you. You're supposed to protect them. You're supposed to save him. Leaf. But you just leave him to die. Leaf. Do you really not know why Ralph helped you get out of there? I... I... Let's go. We should reach another village soon. Wait. This can't be happening, right? Please, tell me this isn't real. Leaf. My dad loves you. Doesn't mean... Uh, I hate feeling these emotional things, you know? Sorry, I might need to get a couple of seconds to reconstitute myself. Because, you, you know, you can play a game, but then trying to read it as well, it's just kind of a bit much. Does this mean nothing to you at all? Damn it. Please, Volga, it's not too late. He... He's all I have. Without him... I don't have anyone anymore. So please, I beg you. Help him, please. You can hate me all you want. I'll do anything to protect you. That's what Ralph would have wanted. No, no. And then, you know. We reached another village nearby soon after that. That would be over. We were finally saved, but our safety didn't last very long. Winterlight uh, has turned into a monster's den, and all other villages had to deal with the sudden increase in monsters around the area. Eventually, they kicked us out. Anywhere we went to Nuana, nobody would accept us. Uh, you brought a curse upon Nuana. You're cursed. That's why the shrine wasn't working. Or so they would say. There's no place for us to go. So, we had to find a safe place on the mountains. And without a job, there was no other way for us to live but for me to, do, to dirty my hands at becoming a bandit. There was really nothing else I could have done. Now we get more tissues. Okay. But Lee found out. He said he couldn't stand seeing me being banned anymore. He reminded me about the tournament in this city. So here I am, doing the only thing I know in order to save them. Fighting. It's funny, isn't it? The only thing I know is fighting, and yet, I ran. I didn't even try. I ran. I ran away, leaving everyone to die. Like, it, I have to say, probably the worst part of that was when he hugged him. It was like, dude, my comrades, my friends, and even someone who loved me. I let them all die. All of them. A shrine guardian who can't even protect his village. How pathetic. Volga. I often imagine myself going back to that day, wondering if there was something 
if I could have done something different. Maybe I should have gone back to the shelter. Maybe I should have ignored the captain's order and stood alongside my friends. But when that monster appeared, it was a nightmare again. I guess, guess what happened? I ran again. It's my own dream, and I still ran. Yumaku, Commander Bowles, and Ralph, none of them deserve to die. Should have been me. Boku banged his fist on against the wall, pain shooting up his arm into his shoulder. Volga! Should have been me. Should have been me. Should have been fucking me. Volga, stop. <sighs> Sorry. Please, let me see your hand. Volga reluctantly shows the throbbing hands to Darius. Darius gently touches at Husky's hand, placing his other hand on top of Volga's. Eyes studying to read, studying the red marks on the Husky's knuckles. Close his eyes. Bright light, ill light, glows from the priest's large, uh, strong palms. Who can feel the warmth slowly uh, replacing the pain on his fist? Volga, thank you for sharing your past with me tonight. Must have been very difficult for you. I don't think I can even imagine the pain you've gone through. I know you're feeling bad about what happened. About how you're feeling about how you're the one who survived. But I'm glad that you're here. That you're still alive. That you're still here. And I'm sure all the children think so as well. Your kind of pain. It's not the kind that will easily go away. But whoever ever, but whenever the pain comes back, I want you to remember one thing. They are not alone. And I'll be here whenever you need me. Dara squeezes Volga's hand. The healing light is gone, but Volga can still feel the warmth from Dara's hand flow through him. <laughs> and here I thought, you don't like being touched. Uh, oh, um, well, in most cases, yes. But... Darius says, uh, pressing his palm against Volga's interlocking their fingers. I can always make an exception for a friend. A friend, huh? Darius nods in an answer, and Volga laughs. He doesn't feel m much pain in his hand anymore. For a moment, the two just stand there silent. Volga stares at Darius' hand, looking at how the priest slowly rubs his fingers. About the children, please... Don't worry about them. The Church of Vera will take care of them. So you should. Take care of yourself, too. I got it. Volga nods as he slowly lets go. It doesn't hurt anymore? Not that much anymore. I'll just sleep it off. That's good to hear, then. Hey, Darius? Yes? Thanks for... thanks for everything today. I think I can go back to sleep now. You're always welcome, Volga. By the way, the fairy... Strombo, was it? Can you tell him if I... Can you tell him I want to talk to him in the morning? There's something I really need to ask him. I'm sure that can be arranged. Should get some sleep for now, though. Okay, okay. Uh, taking care of myself. Right. Exactly. Well, good night, Darius. Good night. So, he's a survivor from Winterlight Village as well. Right. I, rem I think I remember... No, wait. Do I remember? He says as well, which means he knows of some other person. Which I'm pretty sure wouldn't be him because he stands out like a sore thumb. Though, I'm wondering if he's referencing somebody else, but I'm not sure if he knows somebody else. Elvira, oh, is it fate, or is it a test given to me by God? May God protect your soul, Volga.
Oh, thank you, game. I was just to be like, well... I think that's enough for me, but I can't really exactly save it. But now I can. Which is good. Because, boy! I, I was just kind of thinking back to that one game, um, Winds of Change, where it's like... Where you're uh, going to, uh, you know, do the thing at the end. I mean, I guess, let's see, how many is there? Oh yeah, there. this thing's gonna be out well after uh, Winds of Change is finished. So like, at the end there, and spoiler for a game that's been out for a while and I already have things up, but um, basically at the end of that game when they're like, when you're doing that, when the music's playing and you're going towards the uh, idol and your friends are talking around just like, don't fucking do this to me, game. It's hard to read when the tears streaming down my face and it's not coming out of my nose. Um, and then, oh yeah, a game that I played a long time ago, which is uh, Undertale when you do the true ending. Or the true pacifist ending, I think. I don't know. A second time. Anyways, yeah. End of this. Let's play some comment because I like comments. Tell me you like, dislike, tips, or otherwise. If you like me, you and Lexi Crow. Then please like, subscribe, and check out the various epic crown. Please join us on Instagram so I can join the pet population. And if you want to play this game, it's available on Patreon. Let me actually just look it up. But man. Not cool game. Oh yeah, $3 a month. But yeah, until next time. Uh, another Let's Play by me. Of a game that I don't remember me getting all teary eyed, but I got teary eyed. Game of Coliseum. Oh, and the clouds are going in the opposite direction now. <laughs> so, Spaniard, I'll see you.